Okay, today we're still with the Halloween designs, so uh, this is what we're gonna do. Uh, look at this! Yeah, it's Frankenstein. So um, there's different ways to make this. Um, look, um, this was another kind of techniques, but um, at the end it's the same thing. The most important, I think, what I want to share with you is the, is the head. So let's start this. And we're going to use four balloons that we're going to use probably all, all these four balloons. And then like a yellow scrap or orange, whatever color you have for the t-shirt that's going to be inside. Okay, so let's start this time making a black. A black 260 inflated like a finger tail. And you're going to make loops like this. So you're going to make one loop and a pinch twist. That's it. If you cut, you leave this because we're gonna connect it later with the pants. And we're gonna do the same. Okay. Let's see, a loop and a pinch twist. You cut and leave this. And then save this because this is also going to be the hair. So you're gonna see the design probably all the way there. Okay, so then you leave those there and let's start with the pants. So for the pants, you're going to grab a balloon 260 brown, inflated like eight finger tail, and you're going to make a pinch twist. Okay, and then you're going to go up and make a pinch twist. So you're going up like a hand or four fingers, and then you go in with a pinch twist. Then you make like four finger bubble, a pinch twist. So it's kind of like a square. Maybe this bubble is going to be five finger bubble. So five finger bubble, this one too. Okay, and a pinch twist. Then you're going to make a bubble. And you can make two bubbles if you want. Look, like this. You can make two bubbles. And that's if uh, you decide. Okay, I'm going to make two little bubbles there. And then I'm going up. And we'll do the same process again. All around, all around and all around that's all so uh we don't need more of this brown so we're gonna cut it and now we're gonna grab the shoes that we made and start connecting so we're gonna touch it right here in each pinch twist okay so we have one side right there then we need the other two so connect the two pinch together and this is how I'm leaving it. So you decide if you want the brown from the outside or the black, but this is how I'm gonna leave it. Look, choose, ta-da, ta-da. Okie dokie. Now, what else we need to do? Now we're going with that jacket. So for the jacket, the it's gonna be two pinch twists first, and this is a 260 balloon with eight finger tail. And you're gonna make two pinch twists. Then you go, let's make this as small as possible so then we have enough purple balloon because we're gonna make here like three finger bubble. That's gonna be the arms, a pinch twist. And then we're going down. So this is gonna be the arm. Then we're going down with again four three finger bubble. And we're gonna connect it to this pinch twist. Let's do this like this. Then you're gonna make here a pinch twist, okay? And you're going to connect, go up, okay? So that is again three finger bubble, two finger bubble. So we have this. Then here we're gonna measure like four finger bubble. And then we're gonna make another pinch twist. We're gonna go three finger bubble. Connect it to this pinch, tw pinch twist. Then make another pinch twist here, right? Oh my goodness, I wasn't looking at the camera. I don't know if you think... Okay, I gotta move a little bit to here. And then you make three finger bubble. Okay. So it's very square, but I love it. I think it's a um, cool design, look. So with this technique, probably you can try to make maybe a sponge pop. Hmm. Okay, now you make three finger bubble and you're gonna make with these two pinch twists. So you're gonna 
make a little hole and slowly you're gonna make one bean twist and a second one. I explained that before. I like these two bubbles here because that's gonna help you to attach the arms, the, any um, shape you want. Like you want the arms down, the arms up, you decide using um, this, you see, if you open it and push the arms are really looking down. But this time we're gonna leave it like this. Yeah, so you have an idea what I'm talking about. Okay, so when you have this, now you are, uh, remember, here's only one bubble. Mm, now it's time for the green. This is gonna be the head. So it's a 260 green inflated and nine finger tail. And this is the thing. We're gonna make a small little bubble, very small. Just like this, look. A small finger bubble. Then we're gonna make a pinch twist. No, wait a minute. Yeah, small finger bubble, I'm sorry, small finger bubble, and we're gonna attach it right here to this pinch twist, any of those, okay? When you have that, make sure that bubble is looking up. Now, like this. Now, what you're gonna do is pass this bubble all the way through the other side. So this green is gonna make a bubble like here, okay? Now you're gonna make here another little bubble, the same size as this bubble. And then you're gonna make a pinch twist. Now you're gonna go with another bubble, like four finger bubble, and connect it with this little bubble. Yeah. Then you're gonna make a pinch twist. Now you're gonna go up one small little bubble and you're gonna make a pinch twist very soft and small then you're gonna go with a four finger bubble pinch twist and then you're gonna pass it with a small little bubble very small look it's like a finger bubble very very small and connect it to the pinch twist down now you're going up again with another little small little bubble okay and then you're gonna make this as a kind of front head you see and pass it and make another another little bubble to get down okay okay with the rest you can now cut and this is the thing, with this rest, you have to make sure you have two bubbles for the hands. And that's a little bit hard because it's not so big. So maybe you will need a little bit of a scrap because with this, maybe we can make, let me see. Maybe with this, we can make only one hand. If you lose the air tight, we have one hand. So you will need maybe another 260, but just in a scrap. So because with this little bubble, what you're gonna do is connect it to the arms, just like this. Okay, so make sure you tie this very good. And this is what I'm gonna explain what I did here. So the front part is gonna be the one that had the green part instead of the purple, because this is the jacket. And this part is gonna be the mouth, here's gonna be eyes, and this is the front head. That's what I like this idea. Now with the, um, the rest of the 260 uh, black, you connect it to the hair, to one of the pinch twists on the side, and you're gonna make a pinch twist from the front part, and it, make it big, you know, like two finger pinch twist, bigger than the one that's behind, and because that's gonna make the shape of the head, so the hair. So then, look, you have this, and then we pass it to the other side and twist it. Okay, and then you make another big pinch twist, and keep it in purple, like this, this side, like this. And then with the rest, you just pass it and twist. And that's it. You cut, but you pass this, just like this. So this is what you have. Now, what else? We need a little extra green piece, right? For the hands. And of course, that's gonna be, um, I don't have a scrub, but I'm gonna blow it right now. 
So you just make a little bubble, tie it, and that's gonna be that simple. The other hand. Now you need a scrap of a balloon. Um, what is for um for the for inside? And and I recommend you uh, different colors. So for example, if you have a 350, it's gonna look like this, like a big belly. If you don't have, if you have 260, it's gonna look more like this, skinny. So I have a 350 a scrap of yellow. So that's what I'm gonna do. And you just need to blow just like this and make your four finger bubble and another four finger bubble and tie these two together. When you have that, you can connect it right here. And this little piece, and this is another thing optional, because you can make the nose just um, like this. You see, it's just like a letter N. But also, if you already are using a new balloon uh, to 60, you just need to make a little bubble, just like this and make it into a pinch twist. You can make actually bigger if you want. I'm gonna try this time with a long and leave some, some space. Okay, and then you can do this. You can pass it through here and go down. Okay, it doesn't have to be too tight, just like this, that's gonna be a nose. And then you tie this with the extra piece of the green right there. Okay, just tie it. In. First tie it and then you're gonna put it inside. I think that's gonna be better. Okay, that's what I'm doing right now. And then you just connect it, put it inside. And look, uh -huh. how cute. Now the shoes, I, have, I don't know why they move, so I'm gonna put it right here. The other side, or maybe it didn't move, and I'm thinking it moved. <laughs> I don't know. Okay, so look, this is the design so far. I think it's uh, pretty cool because I love the front head that is coming out, so then that's gonna give this uh, idea, you see. And Sharpie time, it's gonna be very easy. Um, you can do with Sharpies very simple, just like this, or you can, um, you know, have this with a lot of uh, dots, stickers, you, and you can pre-made it eyeballs. Like here I have green Frankie eyes. So you just grab, take it out, peel it out, and uh, make sure you kind of measure, you know, where they're gonna be. Let's see, it's kind of hard, but one goes right there, and the other one, hmm. Let's see, it's hard trying to show you and trying to make sure this goes straight. But look, if it doesn't fit, you know, if you think, oh, I did it wrong, it's okay. Monsters, you know, it's it's okay if they're mistakes. This is part of the, you know, something horrible thing. <laughs> okay, so what do you think about this design? I don't think it's hard. I think it's really cute. Look, them with Sharpie. Um, if you have a green Sharpie, I think it's better. Uh, do something very simple like a smile like this and then you pull out one tooth that I think is really cute and what else if you have red sharpie or black you can make some, a scar uh, uh, that's it also um yep it's good to have the white sharpie because the tooth is gonna be white right and that's all i hope you like this design i think it's really cute remember this technique is gonna lie i love you to open these two bubbles and make the arms down go down so that's a cool thing if you want right <clears throat> and you can do the same with the other one. Okay, have a wonderful day. Bye-bye. Ah, I'm forgetting something very important.
Yes, these things. What it is? It's just a 160 balloon, and you can use a scrap. It's, you just have to make two bubbles, twist it together, and do the pinch twist, double pinch twist. And then uh, you're gonna just make like this two finger bubble, cut it, and save the air because you're gonna make another one, but I pre made it. Haha, <laughs> ho ho. And then these things, you're just gonna touch it right here. You see? So you just grab that purple pinch twist and then you play with that to connect it right here. I'm gonna show you what it is. To the room. Now, the same thing the other side. I always forgetting something. <laughs> yeah, I'm always in a hurry because I'm trying to do this, you know, in the meantime. But um, it's always takes time. So there you go. This is the design. Ha ha ha. Now I hope you enjoyed it. Have a wonderful day. Bye.